Hello, everyone, and welcome to Body Bags. I'll be your host for this evening. I am Cinema 77, horror and cold film lover. And um, tonight we're going to talk about a movie. Now, this movie gets a lot of hate, and there's a lot of people who really don't care for this movie. But um, I think the, the reason why I ended up liking it was because I think I saw it when I was, you know, I was at an age where really I shouldn't have been seeing it, but I did watch it. And I think just because I was a young kid and, and I think it just, you know, really, it just really did something for me. And the movie I'm talking about is microwave massacre. Hard to believe that this movie got the arrow, um, got the arrow treatment with all the, the bonus features and everything else. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've always liked this movie and I know this movie gets a lot of hate. It's, you know, definitely considered like one of the worst movies of all time. And, you know, some people are like, well, this movie's so bad, it's good. And some people are like, it's so bad, it's terrible. But um, basically, you got the story of Donald. And Donald is played by the, uh, you know, the classic comedian Jackie Vernon, who we all remember him as, um, you know, the voice of, of uh, Frosty the Snowman on the old cartoon. Now, Donald, he's basically, he's a construction worker and, you know, he's just, uh, he's just basically a blue collar kind of guy. He just wants to, you know, he just wants to go home and, you know, have a sandwich and stuff, you know, like he, he spends all day working construction and, um, you know, he gets off, you know, he wants to go to a bar, you know, have a couple of beers, relax and everything else and go home. Maybe, you know, like I said, just, you know, have like a regular, a regular dinner, you know, he just wants to have like a, like a, most of the time he just wants like a sandwich or something like that. But the problem is, is his wife, uh, May, she ends up getting this brand new, uh, microwave. Now the funny thing is this thing isn't like your ordinary microwave. This thing's about the size of like a, you know, like a double stack, uh, refrigerator and the thing's huge. And so, um, but she's talking about, you know, she's going on and on talking about how, you know, yeah, it's like, you know, I'm tired of living with a slob and, and, you know, we need to kind of, you know, do better and, and kind of upgrade our image and things like that. And this is going to help because, you know, now this movie takes place, you know, about the early to mid eighties. And that was kind of like when, I mean, microwaves were around, but that's kind of like when they were like really considered this really like fancy appliance in your home and stuff like that. And uh, so she gets this microwave and everything and she's starting to like try to cook all these like fancy cuisine type dinners and stuff like that, hoping that, you know, her husband will kind of, you know, become more cultured and sophisticated and things like that, which of course, no, he doesn't, you know, he goes home and he sees the food that she puts down in front of him and, and he's like completely grossed out by it. And he's just like, you know, and he's just like, all I want is just something like a bologna and cheese sandwich, you know, is that asking too much out of life? And, and, you know, she's going on talking about how, you know, he's a bum and he's, you know, you know, just kind of a low life and everything else. And what is she ever seeing him and all this other kind of stuff? And, you know, so, and he's getting irritated by the whole thing. And, and, uh, like, you know, he's going to work and he's got like, you know, this, weird stuff for lunch and everything else and you know he's like asking the guys hey you know you know when you guys trade me for this or whatever of course they're like hell no we need to eat that stuff so you know and one you know he gets drunk and everything else and he comes home one night and he's like just you know he's fed up with the whole thing she's fed up too and and she tried to cook this cuisine there and he's like you know i'm not going to eat it and everything else you know just give me a damn like ham and cheese sandwich or something you know just something simple i'm simple man a simple taste and, you know, she's just like, you know, oh, you're just, you know, you're a loser and all this other kind of stuff. Well, Donald, he reaches his breaking point and he ends up murdering his wife. So, you know, at first he's, you know, so he's kind of like, you know, well, I don't know, man. I just murdered my wife and everything else. But then he's kind of like, well, at least she won't be complaining. She won't be nagging at me anymore and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people would say that, you know, like Jackie Vernon really does give a really weird performance in this movie, but that's, that's kind of the point it's supposed to be, you know, it's, it's, it's a comedy, you know, it's more of a dark comedy than, but, um, so anyway, so he takes his wife and, and he cuts up her body and everything. And so he puts her body in the freezer and so it's middle of the night, he gets up, he wants a snack. So he goes out to the freezer and he takes, you know, what he thinks is just, you know, a snack or something, you know, cause he cuts up her body and wraps up all the body parts in tin foil. So he ends up, you know, taking, he starts, he realizes he's eating her hand. And so he's all like, wow, this is actually pretty good. You know, wow, human flesh. It's actually pretty good. So he ends up, what he ends up start doing is, is he goes in and he starts picking up all these women 
these random women. And he takes them home and he's having sex with them. And then he starts killing them and cutting them up and cooking them in the microwave. And he's eating them and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you get some really like classic, uh, some really classic lines in this movie. You know, he's like saying, you know, like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I can eat a whore or, you know, <laughs> like at one point, you know, that um, him and his buddies, they go to a drive through and they're sitting there talking to, you know, the, the lady at the drive through says, you know, hello, sir. Can I take your order please? And he's all like, yeah, let down your hair, unbutton your blouse, stick out your tongue and a Coke. And she does it, you know? And so it's, um, like I said, I watched, this is one of those cases. I watched this movie when I was a little kid where I probably really should not have been watching this movie at all. But, um, I did watch it when I was little and I think that was kind of it. I think that's why I end up liking this movie. I think now if I, if I probably like this or if I watch this movie now without never have seen it before, I probably would have been like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. This not really doing it for me or something, but I think, you know, being a little kid and when you're a little kid, you know, you're just, you know, um, you're entertained by really silly, goofy, ridiculous things. And that's what this movie is. It's total ridiculousness. And, um, I mean, for crying out loud, there's literally a part where like he lays a naked girl out on top of two huge pieces of bread. He's got like a machete and he's like putting mayonnaise on her body and putting the big piece of bread on. He's cutting her up. He can eat her as a sandwich and stuff like that. And, um, so I think it's just, you know, it's, I think that's why watching this as a kid, like I said before, when I probably shouldn't have been watching it, but watching this as a kid, seeing the kind of like cartoon imagery and stuff like that, um, this movie really does play well to a child. So, but I know this movie gets a lot of hate. Um, a lot of people, I know I've heard people say like, you know, why in the world would, you know, of all the movies that Arrow could have gotten their hands on to give the Blu-ray treatment and all that kind of stuff. Why this movie? But um, I'm glad that they did. Um, it really does. You know, I think it looks about as good as it's ever going to look here. But um, yeah, I mean, I honestly, I enjoy it for what it is. It's a goofball black comedy. And if you can just take it as such and don't go into it very seriously, you'd actually have some fun with it. And this movie's kind of, it's trippy as hell. It's all over the place. I mean, you're even getting like, um, there's even moments where, you get the sense of like Donald after he kills him and cuts up his wife, May, you know, you even get a sense of like, uh, uh, their house is haunted and he's being haunted by her spirit and stuff like that. And, uh, so yeah, just, you know, I mean, it's one of the kind of, I mean, the title there kind of tells you this really isn't a movie you should be taking too seriously. But, um, the one thing I always thought though, too, is like, because it's funny because you got Donald, he just manages, I don't know how he does, but he manages to live in the neighborhood with the most drop dead, sexy, gorgeous, like really horny women I've ever seen. And it's like, I don't know how many times I've said that before. It's all like, you know, I want to know where this neighborhood is because I want to move there. But I mean, it's, it's amazing how like he lives on the street and it's like all of his neighbors is pretty much these gorgeous, sexy, busting out of their top nymphomaniacs and all this stuff that are just and it's like, it's Jackie Vernon of all people. You know, it's like, and like these, you know, these, you know, horned out nymphomaniacs and everything. They want to get it on with Jackie Vernon, which is, you know, so funny and it's ridiculous and stuff. But uh, I know a lot of people are not going to agree with this review. I know a lot of people say this movie is garbage and stuff, but um, I've always, I've always held a soft, a soft spot for it in my heart. Me and my brother, like we said, we watched this when we were, real little kids and everything. Like I said, when we probably shouldn't have been watching it, but we watched it, we were little kids and, and it just played well to us being kids and stuff and being so goofy and outlandish and cartoony and everything else. Um, and just some of the lines on there, you know, it's like, you know, one of the construction workers Donald works with is gay. And, and, uh, you know, so it's like, you know, it tastes as, you know, like this one guy is like trying to chat up this girl and, and, uh, she's all like, Oh, I want to meet him. And everything she's talking about the gay guy i want to meet him so it's like oh okay you want me him yeah i'll go introduce you to him and all this stuff so she goes up and the guy's not wearing a shirt she just comes up she's ooh, and he's like oh stop it you know i'm gonna get a rash <laughs> and like one part they're you know eating a they're eating lunch at a chuck wagon and stuff and he comes up and he takes a burger he's like mm -mm, my favorite hot beef you know so like I said, I know, I just, oh man, this movie, I know it's, it gets a lot of hate. It's considered, you know, a 
terrible film and everything else. But, um, you know, if you can just take, you know, if, um, if you don't have any problems with once in a while, you can watch a movie where you just shut your brain off and just, you know, not, you know, you, you want something that's not intellectual or sophisticated. This movie will do for you. Um, but, um, like I said, I know this movie doesn't get a lot of praise. It doesn't get a lot of love, but I have to admit, I've always enjoyed it. It's a, it's a goofball eighties horror movie. And, um, you know, just, yeah. I mean, kind of like right there, the title microwave masker, you know, it's starring Jackie Vernon. So, I mean, you get the sense already. It's, it's going to be just a goofball kind of dark comedy and stuff, but actually it's pretty good though. You know, it's really good, you know? And like I said, just some of the classic lines he says in this movie, you know, it's all like, you know, he's like having sex with girl after girl after girl. And then he has sex with him. He kills him and cuts him up, cooks him and eats him and all this in his microwave and stuff. And, you know, at one point he's all like, oh, my God, you know, like he's going to put body parts in the freezer. He's like, oh, my God, I'm either going to have to eat more or screw less, you know. So so I was saying just some real, you know, just some real gems of, bi- of uh, cheesy bad dialogue in this movie. But I've always enjoyed it. So, I mean, you know take this review for what it's worth. I know, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will probably be turned off by this, but you know, what can I say? I grew up with this movie. I've always, I've always had a soft spot for it. It's, you know, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. What can I tell you? But yeah, I've always liked microwave massacre. So but anyway, that's going to do it. Yeah. Um, microwave massacre. Like I said, if you want something where you just really shut your brain off and just, you know, you're, you know, you're okay with just being entertained by kind of just outlandish stupid goofiness and you'll like this it's pretty good give it a shot so well so anyway that's going to wrap it up uh you know if anybody took the time to watch this video i thank you for doing it and i appreciate you for doing it um if you haven't already please uh like and subscribe to the body bags channel um it's a weekly show um one day we have a reviewer for every every new day of the week and uh um you know we just you know welcomed our newest uh reviewer chris you know he's our thursday reviewer now so yeah so um check it out we got good videos everybody's doing good stuff and uh you know hopefully you like what we do and uh again if anybody took the time to watch this video i thank you for doing it and i appreciate you for doing it i hope you enjoyed the video and uh you know this is cinema 77 horror and cult film lover i'll be back with another review i'll be the saturday reviewer and uh take care have a good night and see you later bye bye